All right, at about 9.30 this morning, uh, police were called to this location to check on the well-being of uh, one of our police officers. Um, apparently, uh, the police officer's daughter was concerned. She hadn't heard from her father or her mother in some time. She had tried to reach them uh, in the early morning, around 2.30. She didn't get them, um, so she sent the police here. Fire department assisted us in uh, gaining entry into this property back here, and uh, it's very sad that when we uh, made entry, we found uh, one female who was deceased um, inside, suffering from uh, multiple gunshot wounds. And in another part of the home, we found uh, a police officer uh, suffering from what we believe is a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Um, right now, we know uh, we've got an 11-year veteran assigned to uh, the 19th Police District, uh, 39 years old. Here's that him and what may be his estranged wife, she was 36. They've got two kids that we are aware of, 17 and 11. Um, we have not had the opportunity to notify the entire family, so for obvious reasons, we don't want to put his name out right now. But this is a very tragic uh, case, a very sad day for us. As you might have been uh, witnessing uh, nationally, uh, NYPD, Chicago, and other police departments have been experiencing uh, some very serious issues with suicide. Uh, ironically, uh, we had just put out uh, some messaging just last week uh, about this very issue, uh, encouraging officers with um, any concerns they may have about their uh, mental health to seek uh, that type of help not to be uh, concerned about any stigma uh, that may result from it. But nonetheless, um, this horrible tragedy uh, occurred today. Um, so it's very unfortunate that you have uh, these two lives that have been ended in this way, but also got 17-year-old and 11-year-old who lost both their parents. And so as the day goes forward, when we are comfortable and confident that we have made the appropriate notifications to the family, we will uh, let you know uh, the officer's name. The victim is his estranged wife, you said? Right. I mean, so the, the exact status, whether they were separated, we're trying to figure that out. Um, uh, it's our understanding that apparently only he lived here, but they probably were back and forth. So we're trying to figure all that out. But we do know that they were married at some point in time. Now, whether they're legally separated or divorced, uh, I'm not sure. Is the victim any part of the police department? No. No. So, again, it's just, you know, we, this uh, is very troubling to us, and it's, uh, it's very sad, and it's unfortunate. And our heart goes out to this family, uh, particularly these young children. Uh, parents were over there not long ago, at least mother. Um, so what's equally important is to emphasize to other members of this department so please avail yourself of help if, if you need that. We're seeing far too much of this going on nationally. Um, we were only cautiously optimistic that you know, this was not going to hit our department, uh, but clearly it hit home today. I imagine no one was home at the time, no, no witnesses? No one was home. Um, so, in fact, I don't even think anyone heard gunshots. Um, that could be because of air conditioning. Air conditioning. This this is a relatively quiet block, and so there's no, no issues. So, but no one heard the shots. Do we know when this happened? We do not. We can only uh, surmise. Uh, it happened sometime overnight. Um, that'll be something that the medical examiner, you know, will hopefully be able to pin down. Um, but at this point, you know, this is where we are. And like I said, we'll let you know uh, as we go forward about. Um, is the officer the supposed to be on duty today? Uh, yeah, he was supposed to work last night, and he, as I said, he didn't uh, show up for work, so they, they sent some people around, but they were in, unable to gain entry, um, and so uh, then the daughter called later, and uh, I know this is where we are. And finally, I know you, you just alluded to this, but how big of, of an issue is domestic violence uh, in the department? Because I do know that we have another incident with an officer, possibly down in Wildwood over the weekend. Can you address this larger issue of domestic violence? Well, I mean, you know, that this is not only that, arguably, but, I mean, this is another issue altogether. We're talking about suicide and murder, so 
I, I don't know how widespread it is, remembering that you know we, we come from the city at large and the population at large, and um, certainly never making excuses for anything like that. But um, certainly these officers are nationally under a tremendous amount of pressure a lot of times. Um, I don't know whether this was domestic discord or something else, uh, something we may never know, and we may be compelled to just speculate. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is why I'm, I'm placing equal emphasis on uh, anybody else, you know, uh, certainly uh, within this department, sworn or civilian, who may be having issues to uh, take advantage of what we have. You know, we, we have um, our employee assistance program. We work very closely with Penn Behavioral Health. There are people who can help you if you have issues. And uh, obviously, even the broader issue of suicide in general nationally, I mean, that most of the deaths by handgun are actually by suicide and, and not murder. And so obviously it's, it's a bigger issue than even this. And so very tragic and sad day for us. Um, young man um, and young woman um, whose lives have ended um, in a way that you never want to see happen. It's about you know. and Nationally, you mean? I, I don't know. And, and talking to some of my colleagues from NYPD in Chicago, you know, they're, they're different stressors depending on the individual um, because they've, they've certainly experienced some that may be similar in scope, but certainly some where people are just suffering from all kinds of uh, depression that, you know, there, there's a certain degree of bravado in this profession that we can't deny. And that's, that's one thing that we want to get past. We want to get people to the point where they know that it is no shame and reaching out and getting assistance. I can't say it enough. Uh, if something is troubling you beyond you know, anything that you would normally think you could handle, uh, you, you need to seek help um, and, and not be afraid to do so.